Hello Gemini, this is Murray Lane and I have an oracle reading for you for September 2014. So a few things before I get into this reading. Um, the first thing I want to share is that I've been asked if people should be listening to their rising sign and moon sign videos. If that is drawn to you, if you feel inspired to watch those videos, please do so. Do so. <laughs> That's your inner being um, calling you to another message. That's how I see these, um, these videos. And the second thing is that this month I've decided to do things differently again and I've chosen different oracle packs for the elements and for air I have this brand new pack. They are just beautiful. These are called Conscious Spirit Cards by Kim Dreyer. So you are the very first star sign to get this, um, get a reading from these beautiful cards. So let me see what I can share with you. And the final thing I'm sharing with everybody this month is that I feel that September is going to be a very um, insightful month for everybody and it's all about change. It's the um, changing of the guard, so to speak. You know, we're entering into a new season. Spring for us here in the Southern Hemisphere, it's going to be autumn or fall in the Northern Hemisphere. And be, I just feel that, you know, because there's going to be changes in our environment, that it's also an indication of what's going on with us. And I believe that we're going to take our, our understanding of universal laws to a new level. Um, as I've mentioned in one of the um, previous videos, you know, there's 7 billion people on this planet. And I believe that, you know, maybe three or 4,000 people might watch this video. And if you've been drawn to this one, you're ready for this. You are, you, you understand where I'm coming from and you wouldn't be hearing this if you weren't ready for this sort of information. So let's enjoy and let me share from these beautiful cards a message for September. And the first one I have here, oh, it's about following your own path. You know, it's about being unique and you don't need to follow other people. You know, you are the creator of your own life and your own reality. And sometimes we tend to go with what other people want. Well, this card is asking you to do what you want because in the end you're actually helping those around you anyway. So, oh, nice. That's a beautiful image. I'll just show you if you can see that. Um, really lovely. So create your own path and please leave a message and share with me what sort of path that you would like to create and what you're going to do about it. So the next card I have here is... Oh, I'm attuned to universal wisdom and the energies of the crystal kingdom. So look out for crystals, look out for signs, because I think this, well, this is how I interpret this card. Here's the handbook. I don't refer to it. I haven't looked at it. I go with my intuition and what I feel this card means. And I'm thinking that, you know, crystals come from the earth, earthbound, um, and you're going to get some validation. And I think it's going to come in the forms of crystals. And you'll probably just be walking along and you might see a picture of a crystal. You might find a crystal. But when you come across it, take that as um, whatever you're thinking at that point in time as validation that you are on the right, uh, the right path because you're going to be taking your own. Awesome. Here we go. Now let's see what the next card is. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, Michael's here, Archangel Michael, and he's here to remind you about your own strength. You know, I'm very, I've been really called, oh, tuned into Michael's presence the last month or so. It's been very strong, and he's this energy or this angelic being. You know, he's really been called upon by a lot of souls at the moment, and his job is to take away your worries and concerns. So, and this is all part of the change that's coming in in September. It's an opportunity for you to release and pass it over to Michael once and for all, and then you can move on. So, awesome. Now, one of the techniques I've been sharing with the other star signs um, is go to the beach. Sit with your back to the water, close your eyes, feel Michael around you, wrapping his um, wings around you lovingly, and ask him to cut those cords from the past. So that you can create a new beginning and um, sometimes or the cords of those past are, are connected to heritage and old patterns that you know have been passed down from generation to generation they were great maybe 100 150 years ago they don't serve us anymore now so maybe you could try that one because he's here and 
I just feel inspired to share that with you. Oh, I'm Raphael. I invite Raphael to bring in healing and knowledge into my life. So, wow, you've got two angelic beings, you know, who are going to be with you this month. So capture that energy, capture them, you know, use them to, to take you to the next level. So Raphael is going to come and give you some clarity. Aha, uh -huh, now I've got it. So you go to the beach, you ask Michael to take away all of those worries, you've created space, and then Raphael's coming in to give you some new insights because you've created space and allowed that to flow to you. Oh, love it. And now I've been doing five cards this month, so let's see what the, the final card is. Find your bliss. I'm following a path I love and I'm fully aligned with my soul's purpose. There you go. So at the start of the month, you're actually going to be thinking about creating your own unique path. You're going to be who you are. You've got two angelic beings here helping you. One to take away the old, the other one to bring you inspiration and you. And by the end of the month, you're actually going to be following what you're meant to be doing. And I am delighted to be the messenger to share that, share that with you. So Geminis, have a beautiful September and I look forward to um, seeing you again in October and feel free to leave a comment. What happens for you in September? Okay, bye for now.